a bit of healthy competition, clocking up the steps on the way to the office. Along with other workers at their firm, Beata and Rebecca have been given a fitness tracker. And there are prizes for who can rack up the most impressive numbers. I kind of think of myself as being quite fit and healthy, but it's only really when I started using it that I realised I didn't actually do that many steps on a daily basis. So I think it's really like, increased my awareness of it. And I've really enjoyed that, knowing how many I'm doing and thinking about improving it every day. So this is my personal individual dashboard um, from the challenge, so I can see how many steps... But isn't there something perhaps a bit creepy about sharing this sort of data with your employer? Are you at all worried that it, it blurs the line between your job and your private life? No, I don't, because it is optional. So for those of us that doesn't want to be partake, you don't need to sign up to it. Um, and for the rest of us that do, it just adds a little bit of a healthy competition. The company says it's all about getting a healthier workforce with fewer sick days. The data that the devices generate is very much secondary to that purpose. You have to take into context that the wearable device itself is optional, so not everybody will use them. And of course, some people may give them to their husbands, their wives, their children. Um, so you have to be careful, but we get high-level anonymised data, but not at an individual level. And, and what can that tell you? What can that help tell you? Well, it can help tell you how many people are engaging with the wearable, wearable device in the first place, and it might give you some broad identification of sort of the levels of activity, maybe in certain departments, certain groups of people. You might be able to find that information out, but it won't be at an individual level. Wearable tech at work is a growing trend. According to analysis by ABI Research, companies gave out 200 million wearable devices to employees last year. They predict that will rise to 500 million a year by 2021. The rise of wearable technology obviously offers fantastic insights for companies, but at what cost? Just how much of our personal information should we be invited to share with employers in the name of efficiency and health? For example, there's no doubt that well-rested workers perform better than tired ones. But does that mean that we should allow employers to keep an eye on our shut eye just because the technology now allows them to? There may be a case for, say, airline pilots, but for everyone else... You know I got tired, baby. According to one pressure group, we're in danger of trading our souls in return for a few flashy trinkets. Well, in the case of wearables, I think employers are now starting to say, oh, no, 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 we, we will give you this wearable and uh, you'll get free gym membership or we'll help reduce your health care uh, uh, insurance costs or, oh, if you lose this much of weight or you get this much sleep, we'll provide you with cinema tickets. You know, the employers are going to be quite savvy at trying to encourage employees to think they're going to get a benefit out of this. Actually, long term, the benefit does go to the employer, not necessarily to the employee, because for all those benefits that the employees go, to get. They're also going to be under a level of surveillance that many will see as completely inappropriate and a breach of their private lives and their private selves within the workplace. But this kind of technology is rather old hat. It's just the start of what's possible. Add a microphone, add Bluetooth proximity sensors and employers will be able to plot a map of how their employees are interacting. Humanize describes itself as a people analytics company. They use smart ID badges which record who an employee is talking to and in what tone of voice. It allows employers to see the human network on which their organization is running with some important safeguards. Um, we don't share individual data with companies. We don't record what people say. Uh, we don't track how many times you go to the bathroom. It's an important question. Um, but the idea is if you don't want to participate, uh, you can even choose to wear a, uh, a fake badge, so one that doesn't collect any data. Um, and we think that's important, right? Because at a high level, if you force employees to try to wear this sort of thing, if you're able to track where people go, any benefit you get from this technology would be dwarfed by the negative reaction that people would legitimately have. We're very much at the beginning of what's possible. So far, the law in this area hasn't got much further than some rather elderly data protection legislation. Even those at the cutting edge of workplace monitoring think regulation has to catch up fast. We absolutely need more regulation around this space. I mean, technology in general tends to outpace regulation, which sort of makes sense. But this technology has been coming along now for a while, and I think there are obviously benefits, both to individuals as well as to companies, but we need to make sure that we protect individual privacies um, moving forward. 
Uh, because it, again, if we don't do that, people are going to start doing the wrong thing with this. And uh, again, that'll um, of course be be terrible for the individuals involved, but also, I mean, even just from an industry perspective, that, that'll affect us moving forward as well um, if there are people that are operating in, uh, in the wrong way. Britain today is a powerhouse. Ideas, sentiment, imagination. Employee monitoring has been around as long as paid work itself. Well, I, I, don't, I don't think it's very nice. I don't think it's, it's English. they having to stop watching over you. What is it particularly your object? Well, I think it's something fun. What's changed is how cheap and all-pervasive the technology has become. Now, the only limits are ones we choose as a society to set.